Welcome back. Today, I think we're gonna take this block of Tupelo and thanks to my good buddy, Ross. Shout out to you, Ross, for uh, giving me the inspiration, the idea of this, but we're gonna make a musky lure. Here in Nebraska, there are not very many muskies. I've never caught a muskie, but I've seen some pretty sweet lures. So we're gonna try and give that a shot. So we're gonna make a six inch, kind of a six inch top water twitch bait with a, a little grub tail to add to that. So we're going to see how it turns out and we'll hopefully see if we can catch a bass, maybe a northern on it here around uh, at the lakes around my, my place. But there is one lake with tiger muskie nearby, so we might try that for a go. But stay with it, stay tuned, and we'll see how this turns out. This is a, a six inch long bait right now. And this piece of wood that I'm using right now is 1.7 inches in width. So I cut a, or drawn a midline at 0.85 inches. I'm hoping I can get two out of these. You know, they're, most of the musky baits I've seen aren't super thick, they have a huge profile. Um, kind of more like a top, just a typical topwater crank. So. We're going to go with that thickness and we're going to hope it works out, but we'll just kind of see as we go and we'll learn if we need to move or maneuver next time. to completely mess up. So we're gonna give it a, a good sand, uh, which you'll notice now is the shape is pretty set in stone, but we'll just do a couple little chamfer, shave away with the knife, um, and then we'll get to sanding the actual shape out a little bit. Weight will depend on really what you're gonna want this bait to do. As you can kind of see here, if you were to gently put pressure on where my thumb and my other my index and my middle fingers are, you want to see where it falls. So notice how it falls downward right here. That means it's pretty much the midpoint or the middle point of gravity of that bait. Um, if you go forward, that's what's going to happen. If you go backwards, obviously that's what's going to happen. So um, if I want this bait to suspend in the water, most of the weight, including the hardware, isn't going to have to go about right there, which is good because you have a hook here, hook here, hook here. Um, well, actually no hook here. We're going to do a grub tail back there. So. Um, it'll be nice. So there we go. basic shape is now done. We will just take this box cutting knife, trim some of the edges, the sharp edges, 
that will allow us to kind of really get into a good shape when we get into the sanding portion with that uh, with the hand sand. Uh, but that's the next step for these two musky baits. Okay, what seemed like forever hand sanding both of these. I'm not used to making this large of baits, so sanding takes a while. Um, line tie, first hook hanger, second hook hanger, rear hook hanger, but it's just going to be where the grub tail is going to be with a split ring uh, and a kind of a lock, but that'll be the both. So we're just going to go through and get those put in. Couple screw eyes, just for the time being, because we are going to stain or seal the wood. Just quick with the 30 minute min wax dry. I'll drill all the lead holes and everything after we do that. Took my 3 8 inch Forstner bit and drilled some eye sockets. Probably should have done that before I hit the wood with some uh, water repellent and that polyurethane, but this will be fine because we're going to put a couple coats of uh, epoxy over this anyhow. So uh, just waiting on the lead pots to fill up. Lead's in. Time to, uh, we're gonna let it sit for a little bit, cool down, dry up, sand it, clean it up. And then one coat of epoxy before we get into painting. While we let the uh, epoxy dry on the rotisserie, we're gonna make these twister tail tails um, using 0 0.025 inch diameter or the 60.64 millimeter wire. I'm gonna simply bend it about right there. Take a split ring, insert it, and to lock this portion, we're just gonna hold it and twist. So now that it's locked to the split ring, these pliers that I got from Amazon are perfect for wire bending. You can see the little circles, circumference, they have all different sizes, but we just use the smallest one for this one. We're 
pretty much going to bend it to a screw lock. That's kind of what it looks like. And that we will add to that last which looks like a hook slot but will only be for our tails. So well, that's pretty cool and pretty simple. Let's get to painting. of what we've got so far. Um, not 
not awful, um, but hey, different color pattern. I don't usually paint this kind of stuff, this vibrant, but we are gonna just do an off camera, five minute epoxy to get the hardware in. I'll cut out a lip and then glue some eyes in and we'll get it on the rotisserie and we'll uh, meet you back once that's all done. We are at a local lake. Mrs. CJ Bates is with me right back here. Trying not to look at the camera, but we are gonna give this a shot for a little bit this evening. I'm gonna use the ha bright highlighter color that I painted instead of the, the blue one, just because there's a lot more Northern in this lake and I figured it's a good bright color to shoot for. So give this a roll for a little bit and we'll see if we get into anything. We did not get into anything tonight on these baits, but the action was pretty good. I'm pretty excited. They did do exactly what I was hoping they would do. But uh, thanks to Ross for the idea, big musky guy. So maybe I'll catch a musky with you one of these days, Ross. But thanks again for watching everyone. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, maybe hit the like button below. But 